Hello, and welcome to AIM International's preparatory tutorials for the Information Certification Exam. I'm Steve Weissman, Principal Consultant at Holly Group and a certified AIM training instructor in the realm of content, process, and information management. I'll be your guide as we review the exam's major domains of expertise, and I'll tell you all you need to know to earn that passing grade. Today's subject is instant messaging, a key part of this special certification which AIM created to support you as you solve your organization's existing information-related problems and plan for its future. For 60 years, AIM has been the leading nonprofit association, helping users understand how to best manage documents, content, records, and business processes. Basic instant messaging architecture provides such functionality as chat, news alerts, and conferences. And how these services are delivered varies according to the architecture on which the system is built. This module, which is part of the Collaborate and Deliver Knowledge domain, one of six within the certification program, will review the fundamental architectures of instant messaging, including client-server, peer-to-peer, store-and-forward, and mobile instant messaging. On a client-server network, every computer is either a client or a server. A server, of course, shares its resources among the client computers on the network, and is usually located in a secured area such as a locked closet or a data center because of the value of the information it typically contains. And the other computer on the network is a client. Primary advantages of this kind of architecture revolve around the ability of administrators to centrally manage and secure the servers and to control access to them by linking to an enterprise directory like Active Directory or LDAP. In most enterprise contexts, Client-server-based instant messaging systems include the following components. A directory server for authentication and lookup, an IM server and one or more multiplexers to aggregate the client signals, and a web server to serve up the pages. One alternative to this is the peer-to-peer -peer construct, in which each client can communicate with any other client on the network to which it's been granted access rights. As such, each one basically can act as a server as well a practical fact that makes equals of them all and thus gives the architecture its name. Instant messaging can be implemented on a peer-to-peer -peer basis, an arrangement that does not require an internet connection to operate. This adds a high level of privacy to this type of instant communication, ensuring that no one else but the intended recipient will be able to read the contents of your instant message. But it also can involve trade-offs in terms of performance and security, since by design, it involves the pooling of individual and non-uniformly capable computing resources, rather than the more easily managed and controlled central servers. PopNote and the LandToucher products are two examples of these kinds of offerings. Store and forward architectures are those in which sent messages are stored if the recipient's applications are not running and available, and simply forwarded when they come back online later on. Email, text messaging, and voicemail are perhaps the three best-known technologies that feature this capability. And while instant messaging typically does not feature this kind of capability, the potential is there for it to occur, especially in an always-on server-based environment. One place it can be seen is the chat mechanism on Skype, which will display messages typed to you while you are offline. The proliferation of Wi-Fi and Internet-enabled mobile devices is putting instant messaging in the hands of those who are not in front of their computers, as there are dozens of IM client applications, web messengers, and text messaging-based options available for those kinds of products. The technology that allows instant messaging services to be accessed this way is called, cleverly, Mobile Instant Messaging, or MIM. Making it available is more than merely creating an interface that runs on the mobile platform, however as there are major factors to be considered along the way, including radio bandwidth, device memory, availability of media formats, virtual or physical keyboard, display resolution, CPU performance, and battery power. MAM comes in two varieties. With embedded clients, involving a tailored IM client for every specific device with a special back-end server installed at the cellular carrier, or as a client-less platform utilizing a browser-based application that requires no software to be downloaded on the handset or any technical support by the cellular operator. This module has reviewed instant messaging's fundamental architectures, including client-server, peer-to-peer, store-and-forward, and mobile IM. Having completed it, 
you may next wish to explore the section on telecommuting support. The material you have just reviewed is part of a broader program of study that prepares you to take the information certification exam. This proctored test consists of 100 multiple choice questions and is delivered electronically by Prometric. You'll have two hours to complete it, and upon passing, you'll earn a professional certification that's valid for three years. For more information, please visit www.aim.org slash certification. Thank you.